Sometimes our unusual ideas can come from the most unexpected places, but don't let that stop you from turning wild inspirations into a major success. First of all, this product is, of course, 100% natural because it came from milk. Everything from AI swarms to orange peel lamps to longboard baby strollers came about because of unorthodox thinking. And that innovation is the reason we're here today. Get ready to be inspired. There's a whole world of wild and wacky ideas that wind up working out perfectly. So don't worry, it's going to be okay. Here are 15 of the craziest ideas that worked out fine. Instant freeze. It might look a little weird, you don't have to reload the page, but sometimes, even in the desert, water can freeze instantly. Like in this video, this bottled water immediately freezes in desert Saudi Arabia as soon as it's exposed to air. You're not going to believe this, but it occasionally drops below freezing temperatures in this typically scorching desert. Occasionally, the temperatures are reported to reach well below freezing. A cold spell that swept over most regional states occurred recently. There's also another reason this can happen. If the liquid in the bottle is super cooled and the temperature of the liquid is below its normal freezing point but is still not turned into a solid, it needs something to kickstart the freezing process and encourage a small number of the liquid molecules to get together in a regular arrangement, as they do in ice. The process is called nucleation because it encourages the molecules in the liquid to form a crystal-like nucleus onto which others can then latch. So there you have it, instant ice. Hopefully this person has more water. They're in the desert after all. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Eating dinner off a leaf. Take a look inside this company in India that makes biodegradable disposable plates and bowls out of leaves from the palash tree. Belonging to the pea family, the palash tree is prized for its medicinal uses and showy blossoms. Growing up to 35 to 40 feet tall, the tree features irregular branches covered with leaves. It sheds its leaves during the early winters, followed by producing red-orange flowers. They're also made from the shredded leaves of the areca palm trees. And now the leaves are being used to save the earth. This company uses them to create dishware we can eat off of. The leaves have natural antibacterial and antiseptic properties, which make eating from them a sustainable and healthy option. The machine just molds the shape, the excess leaf is trimmed, the rest is eco-friendly history. The company started out of a love for nature and also employs local women from various nearby towns. So, these innovative and cool-looking plates and bowls help our planet and stimulate the economy. The company was started when the founders quit their high-tech jobs in Silicon Valley in San Francisco and moved to India. And now, these plates are the best alternative to plastic polymer products and paper-based products out there. They're eco-friendly as well as disposable. <laughs> An appealing lamp. A Milan-based startup has 3D printed orange peels into a tactile lamp that can be composted along with organic household waste. From its patterned surface to its orangey smell and vibrant color, the lamp was designed to reflect its Sicilian origins. What will they think of next? The designers turned to orange peel to create the lightweight lamp because of the citrus fruit's abundance in Sicily, Italy. Each lamp is made from the discarded peels of two or three oranges sourced from a family-owned food producer. The compostable lamp is made from the peels of two to three oranges, which are then dried, ground into a powder, and added to a biopolymeric vegetable starch base. That combined material is molded into pellets used in a 3D printing process that layers the vibrant matter into a textured shade and base. Because of its organic origins, the minimal leather-like lamp varies slightly in color as it ages and even maintains its signature citrusy scent. The designers hope the lamp demonstrates how food waste can be successfully repurposed into an eco-designed product that's both beautiful and functional. Part sustainable design and part ode to Sicilian food culture, this new product transforms an edible food waste into stylish, functional homeware. <laughs> Cyborg Hands we often take our bodies for granted. The simple action of grasping a random object is normally a no-brainer for humans, but for robots it requires both a sophisticated neural network and artificial muscles, or at least if you want it to look natural. However, engineers have managed to build a robotic arm with strong, fast, power-dense, and highly efficient artificial muscles. The hand can lift over 15 pounds. This is safe, clean, organic, and affordable robotic technology. 
The artificial muscles in this robotic arm are not yet AI powered, but rather operated using water, consuming 200 watts of peak power, and the movement sequence is written and sent by simple commands to the cyborg hand. Interesting. The company says the number of artificial muscles in their robotic arms is just half of a human hand. However, the fingers are able to move from left to right without the use of muscles. In the future, the designers wish to develop a platform for learning purposes, prosthetic arms, and ultimately full humanoid robots to serve people as butlers, cleaners, chauffeurs, construction workers, even work in space. Now that's some science fiction-like ideas at work. <laughs> Wobble power Unlike typical wind turbines, which use the breeze to spin blades that in turn power a generator, this bladeless turbine uses the movement caused by air hitting its 10-foot pylon to generate power. It doesn't require blades to create energy. Traditional wind turbines are an increasingly popular option for environmentally friendly energy, with a smaller carbon footprint than coal or natural gas. But with their colossal blades that spin at speeds of more than 200 miles per hour, they pose a serious danger to wildlife killing hundreds of thousands of birds and bats every year. Not this bladeless turbine. In addition to being quieter and more small, it could save the lives of up to 500,000 birds. But the Madrid-based company's design takes advantage of the aerodynamic phenomenon that occurs when the air hits a solid object to harness wind energy. Two rings of repelling magnets are positioned at the base of a 10-foot pylon. When the breeze pushes the pylon one way, one of the magnets pulls it in the other direction, providing a boost, transforming it into electricity. Wobble power. Without blades, this bladeless turbine is also quieter, smaller, and cheaper than the conventional turbines, and can adapt more quickly to changes in wind direction. No need to worry, birds! <laughs> the Low-Res Car Created by a Dutch footwear brand, the Low-Res is exactly what it's named, a low-resolution car. It's said to be like a version of the Countach Lamborghini, but we'll stick to calling it a more chilled out version of the Tesla Cybertruck. It's the most bizarre car that can actually be driven. It's just as amazing inside as it is on the outside. The low res can be opened and closed using its special key fob. The fob itself comes with a few buttons that control different functions of the car. Press the button and hold it down and the entire body lifts up and gives you the space to get in. It just opens about 45 degrees, so you essentially have to slide yourself in. There are two leather-wrapped seats inside, one behind the other. The base of the seats is a chrome structure that's also inspired by the low-res theme. There's a control panel on the right side of the driver with five flip switches on it, which control the headlights and taillights. The illuminated logos at the front and the back, the interior lights, the doors, and the drive modes. Instead of a regular steering wheel, the low res comes with a hexagon-shaped design. There are the accelerator and the brake pedals, but are far from each other, so you'll need to use both your legs to operate them. You can even see the road beneath you while you drive. How fun is that? <laughs> Medieval Little A new supermarket built on 11th century Irish Viking ruins in Dublin has used glass floors to allow shoppers to look at the structure below. The Little and the Irish capital opened and managers have made an effort to showcase the significant archaeological finds on the site. It lies in what's thought to have been an indigenous suburb of Dublin, housing people of mixed Gaelic and Norse ancestry and culture between the 9th to 12th centuries, effectively the ancestors of the Vikings. So now, the Little features a glass window on the floor allowing customers to see the preserved domestic structure below, as well as information displays about the site. It's a unique structure. Built around 1070 AD, the structure was found during the excavations at the development and provides a remarkable insight into how people once lived. It was built by digging a pit in the ground and lining it with blocks of limestone before laying a floor of planks and building an overarching structure. The building is unlikely to have been a home given its small size, but was probably a space used for storage. It's incredible to see the preservation and display of archaeological finds. What a wonderful way to keep the local history alive! and get some shopping done. <laughs> Longboard Stroller More than half of the people in the world live in an urban environment. By 2050, 70% of the world population will be living in the city. With public transportation soon reaching its limits and the traffic congestion increasing, finding an alternative way to get around has become inevitable. Is it possible to blend together the comfort of a traditional stroller and the fun of longboarding? Yeah, it is. 
Check out this longboard stroller, a unique and very exciting solution for parents. Freedom for parents, fun for kids. The design philosophy is all about pushing limits, finding new solutions so you can enjoy yourself. If you're a parent living in an urban area and mobility is just one of the issues that you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, you might consider a seamless mobility solution like this that gives you and your child the freedom to move. This innovative longboard stroller is a great example. It takes a fresh approach to urban mobility, giving the experience and freedom of riding a longboard and enabling parents to travel faster and further than with a regular stroller. It's fun, it's fast, and it's eco-friendly. Thanks to multiple safety innovations, parents can explore more of the city together with their kids and have a lot more fun while doing it. <laughs> Milky clothes. A significant proportion of food waste is dairy. So a UK charity is helping individuals and organizations reduce waste. They say that 20% of the estimated 1.7 million tons of annual waste created during food manufacturing is dairy, second in volume only to meat and fish. It's, however, possible to turn dairy waste into a surprising new material, fibers that can be spun and woven and used to make clothing and other textiles, mainly used for clothing like socks and underwear. Milk fiber isn't new. It was being used for clothing and household items during the 1930s and 40s as a substitute for wool. Later, cheaper synthetics like nylon became more popular. The fiber belongs to a class of bio-based man-made fibers known as regenerated protein fibers, and now, the innovation has been granted international certification, which means they're free of various chemicals that are harmful to humans and the environment. The plus points of the fiber are that it feels very nice, is good at keeping moisture away from the body, and has great insulation properties. It's a win-win. It can be used to make all sorts of clothing, including t-shirts, sportswear, dresses, and underwear. Headless Cat Robot Who doesn't love a cuddle with a cute cat? But would you cuddle with this? It's designed to behave like a cat, except it's a robot. Kubo is a soft, responsive pillow with a tail and a fake robotic cat pillow that wags its tail when you cuddle with it. It was created to be a plush therapy device with a series of tail wags and vibrations that respond to the user's touch. So this headless robot cat ultimately helps you to calm your nerves and stress. So if you like cats but don't have time or a proper place to take care of them, then this robotic cat pillow is perfect for you. The tail is a simple and powerful communication tool for every pet. So the designers created this therapeutic robot in the form of a cushion with a tail. Pretty sweet, right? It gently wiggles when stroked, and it swings its tail from side to side when caressed, and also it occasionally wags just to say hello. Meow! This awesome therapeutic communication will warm your heart and reduce your stress the way only animals can. If you want a cat but happen to have terrible allergies or you don't have money or a proper house to care for a cat, you may want one of these. This way, you have the cute and cuddly parts of a cat without all the work that goes into a real house cat. Hmm. Robot Butler The global brand Samsung has developed a robot butler, and we're here for it. The electronic helper will perform daily chores around the house, including cleaning the dishes. It can even pour you a glass of wine or beer, and you don't even need to leave a tip. Meet Bot Handy. It's a tall, white robot with a digital display that shows eyes. The Bot Handy is equipped with a series of cameras and sensors to help identify what's going on around it and it can roll around your home to perform tasks in any room. Most importantly, the robot has a long and pivoting arm that can grip and move objects. But don't worry, it won't crush your fine china. According to Samsung, the bot handy will become an extension of you around the house. The robot butler will rely on advanced AI to recognize and pick up objects of varying sizes, shapes, and weights. And the teaser video for the new robot shows the robot performing many useful household tasks. It can clear away or set the table for dinner. It can serve up beverages, the works, and it can even reload and reorganize plates in the dishwasher too. Samsung hasn't confirmed when this robot will be released, but when it does go on sale, we want one. Hot tub hammock. What is a hot tub hammock? It's exactly what you think. Technically, it's called a hydro hammock and it has multiple uses. The hydro hammock works like a hammock, hammock hot tub, portable hot tub, liner for sand or snow, hammock waterbed or swimming pool. 
The water heater system can also work as an outdoor shower. With a basin and strainer filter, it can make a two-hour shower with less than three gallons of water. The hammock is made from resilient and waterproof high tensile strength fabric set to support the weight of up to over 100 gallons of water and two adults. Its heating system currently runs on natural gas, though there are plans to expand to battery and solar electricity as well. Easy to set up your desired shape, the hot tub hammock comes as a compact, lighter single layer of material that fits inside the travel case of its heating system, so it's very convenient to travel with. And just wait, the bubbling hot water sends you right to paradise and you can adjust the temperature if you prefer cooler water. The hammock doesn't take long to heat up too. It can be hard to feel at home while camping or at the cottage, but this could be the perfect addition when you want to relax after a hard day of hiking. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Military jetpacks. No surprise here, flying around with a jetpack is just as cool as you thought it might be. It's like that dream of flying you have sometimes, says the founder and chief test pilot of the MK2 flying suit. But believe it or not, the technology has come a long way since the 1970s when peroxide rockets launched humans through the air. The jetpack concept was modified but still was essentially a big box on the wearer's back. This concept is the next step in the evolutionary chain. The MK2 uses two miniature jet engines on each arm and a fifth one on the backpack. The suit, which creates 317 pounds of thrust and makes 1,050 brake horsepower, carries a five and a quarter gallon of jet fuel. This will allow it to propel a person of less than 200 pounds for about four minutes. The new version, the MK3, which has already set a Guinness World Record with a top speed of 85.6 miles per hour, will offer more flight time and has a heavier payload rating. The company is also developing a wing system which will extend the range even further. Flying is intuitive, says the creator, but still requires training. Still at the designer's headquarters outside London, the company has launched more than 60 clients, but rather than selling to individuals, they're focused on leasing suits to the rescue, military, and entertainment industries. Changing a light bulb. If a light bulb burns out in a hard to reach place, it can be a drag to replace. Fetching a ladder and climbing all the way up to reach the ceiling is annoying. There was a better way. Turns out there could be. If you have a spare drone lying around, it may surprise you to learn that replacing a light bulb with a drone is not an easy task. However, despite all the struggles, the drone successfully replaces a light bulb, but not without some failed attempts and some more broken glass. On its first attempt, the drone bumps into the old light bulb attached to a ceiling light and crashes to the ground. The next few tries have both the drone and the newer light bulb falling to the ground again, shattering the bulb in the process. So if you're looking to replace a light bulb of your own and some time to waste, maybe it's worth a try. But remember, it may only take one drone to replace a light bulb, but it takes a bunch of extra bulbs. This video shows firsthand how difficult it is to replace a light bulb using a piloted quadcopter drone. Two drones and nine light bulbs later, the task is completed. As fun as drones are to fly, a very skilled pilot is required to maneuver them to do even the most basic of chores. Squat for a ticket. As part of an initiative to try and get people fit ahead of the Winter Olympics in Russia, Officials introduced a challenge that allows people to pay for the subway fare by doing 30 squats rather than forking out 30 rubles, equivalent of a dollar. A special machine located in Moscow recorded the number of squats performed by commuters willing to pay the alternative fare, and it paid close attention to technique as well. So, there were no shortcuts allowed. To earn the free metro ticket, commuters had two minutes to complete their squats in front of the ticket machine's special counting camera. But you have to do all 30, no fewer and squats are no easy task. If you fail to do all 30, you just had to pay for your ticket. There's no reward for participation. The ride isn't that expensive, so it was more of an initiative for people who want to get fit rather than commuters trying to save a few bucks. But it's certainly a great idea. Squats burn calories and might help you lose weight. They also lower your chances of injuring your knees and ankles. As you exercise, the movement strengthens your tendons, bones, and ligaments all around the leg muscles. If you forget your wallet at home, this might be a very novel approach to get a free ride. And a healthy one, too. Crazy, right? These videos show us that wild, imaginative ideas can turn into amazing new realities. Like and subscribe, share with your friends, and stick around for more.